Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Lost Ark build video, and today I'm going to be covering Machinist or Scouter. Anyway, I'm going to be covering both the Evolutionary Legacy build, which is the Transformation playstyle, as well as the AT build, or also known as the Arthurtinian skill playstyle, which doesn't focus on the Transformation at all. Also, if you guys have any questions after watching this video, be sure to follow me on Twitch. I've been streaming a little bit more often there, so if you follow me, you'll get notified of when I go live, and you can ask me any questions. And also, join the Discord. I'm on Discord literally 24-7, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to join, add me, DM me, and I'll be sure to help you in the best way that I can. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. We're going to start off with the Legacy build, which is the one that most people are going to be interested in. And this build focuses on the Evolutionary Legacy class engraving. What this engraving does is that whenever you land a hit while you're inside of your transformation, it gives you a stacking damage buff and it reduces the cooldown of all of your abilities by half a second. Also, if your hypersync mode, aka your transformation state, doesn't end prematurely, it also refunds 40% of the gauge. For your stats, you're going to want spec on every single accessory and crit only on your next. Although spec does not increase the duration of your transformation, which is fixed at 20 seconds, it does increase the damage of your abilities while you're in your transformation, and the gauge gain from your normal abilities to help you get back onto your transformation even faster. For your skills, you're going to want flare beam with scar, core energy charge, and laser cut, baby drones with vital point hit, core energy supply, and roundup attack, raid missile with core energy charge, organ missile, and weak point detection, mobile shot with solid maneuver, quickness, and additional maneuver, backflip strike, with excellent mobility and tenacity, Annihilation Mode with Swift Prep, Core Energy Charge, and Comrade, Fiery Escape with excellent mobility, Long Flight, or High Flight, either one works, and Emergency Protection. And finally, you're going to want Energy Buster with Skill Defender, Flame Buster, and Meltdown. Out of all these skills, the only tripods you're going to want to focus on are Core Energy Charge for Flare Beam, Baby Drone, and Raid Missile, as these are your gauge generating tripods. And then also, if you want a little cherry on top, you can get excellent mobility for Mobile Shot, Backflip Strike, and and fiery escape. For your awakening, you're going to be using exclusively airstrike, and the reason for that is that you can use it at the beginning of a fight to instantly fill up your meter. Well, not fully, but it'll give you a lot of meter, which allows you to go into your transformation right off the bat. For your gear set, if you're at 1370, you're going to want the preordained Argo set for the additional crit rate, and once you can craft relic gear, you're going to want to aim for the six-piece hallucination set. For your runes, you're going to want wealth on raid missiles, baby drone, and flare beam, rage on comet strike, bleed on slug shot, and Gale Wind on Laser Blade, Crimson Breaker, and Echelon Beam. Once you have high enough spec and tripods where you don't need that much gauge generation to go back into it instantly, you can take the Wealth Rune off a of Flare Beam and then use an additional Gale Wind Rune on another one of your sync skills. For your gems, you only really need two gems, and that is a Damage and CDR gem for your sync skills. Other gems are not really required, but if you want to ball out um, and you decide to buy some other damage gems or cooldown gems or something, especially if you're at the lower end of the spec spectrum um, where you need to cycle a little bit more abilities to get your gauge back then i wouldn't go above level five for your engravings there are a couple of options in the west specifically right now one of the ones that i think most people are going to go for is grudge raid captain cursed alt barricade adrenaline 2 and legacy 1 this build does not use keen blunt due to how low your crit rate is if you have six piece hallucination combined with your stats from your necklace you're going to have about 48% crit rate with Adrenaline 2, which jumps up to 55% crit rate with Lost Wind Cliff Awakening 12, which is not a lot. You want to at least have 60% in order to make use of Keen Blunt Weapon efficiently. So what I recommend that most people do right now is instead go Grudge, Raid Captain, Keen Blunt, Adrenaline Legacy, and this is going to require either a crit synergy from your party members, so if you have a static that means Gunslinger or something like that, this is great, which will put you right at 60%. However, eventually in the future we'll be able to have 5-3 plus one, so whenever we get Ancient Relic accessories, or if you're one of the lucky few people that managed to roll a 9-7 stone, you can go for a 5-3 plus one, in which case you want Grudge, Raid Captain, Keen Blunt, Adrenaline, and Barricade with Legacy 1. And that's about it, it's a very straightforward, very simple class, very simple build. So let's go over the AT build, aka the Arthurtinian skill build. What this class engraving does is increases your maximum battery capacity by 10%, the damage of your blue and purple skills, aka your joint and drone skills, by 15% at level 1, and it gives you 10% move speed whenever the drone is attached to you. For your stats, you're going to want about 1300 crit and 700 swiftness. This means you're going to want a crit swift necklace and one swift ring. 
Fighting. For your skills, you're going to want Overcharge Battery with Fighting Spirit Enhancement as your Synergy, Mobile Shot with Quick Crep, Quickness, and Additional Maneuver, Avalanche with Battery Charge, Zero Degree Aim, and Concise Finish, Annihilation Mode with Battery Saving Mode, Reformation, and Comrade, Energy Buster with Condense, Flame Buster, and Meltdown, Carpet with Battery Saving Mode, Explosive Barrage, and Weak Point Detection, Baby Drone with Precise Command, Flame Baby, and All Out War, and finally Raid Missile with Battery Discharge, Organ Missile, and Weak Point Detection. Out of all these, the most important tripods you're going to want to get, once we get the new system, you'll be able to hand-pick 18 tripods, so you're going to want Concise Finish for Avalanche, Quick Prep and Quickness for Mobile Shot, and then all of the selected tripods for your command and joint skills. For your Awakening, you're going to be using Final Explosion for the simple reason that you don't need to generate meter for this build, so the Airstrike Awakening doesn't really, you know, do anything for you. And this one does more damage, so this is going to be your Awakening of choice. For your runes, you're going to want Conviction on Raid Missiles and Judgment on Overcharge Battery, Bleed on Baby Drone, Quick Recharge or Rage on Mobile Shot and Carpet, and Gale Wind on Avalanche, Energy Buster, and Annihilation Mode. For your gems, you're going to want a Damage and CDR gem for all of your Joint Skills and your Drone Skills, aka all of your Blue and Purple Skills. And for your final gem, you're going to want a Damage gem for Avalanche. For your engravings, you're going to want Grudge, Raid Captain, Keen Blunt, Mass Increase, and Arthurtinian Skill. However, in the future, just like with Legacy, when we can get 5-3 plus 1, you can actually have Grudge, Raid Captain, Keen Blunt, Mass Increase, and Curse Doll, and then have Arthurtinian Skill at level 1. This is the most optimal setup that you can have. For your gear set, you're going to want to go for the Harsh Oath set at 1370, and then once you can craft L Relic Armor, you can go for the 6 piece salvation set. You can also go Dominion or Hallucination, but you would have to tweak your stats in order for you to compensate for the lack of crit. For your cards, at first, if you have Lost One Cliff 12, then I suggest using that. However, ultimately, you're going to want to use Light of Salvation. And there you have it guys, there is my complete scouter guide on his build. It's pretty straightforward, so I just wanted to bring it to you guys for those who may not know much about the class. This is basically what you want. Let me know what's the next thing you guys would like to see, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.